Hey everybody, this is Scott with Pray5.org. Uh, I just finished up a four-week study on titled uh, "How Do You Talk to Other Religions About Salvation." Uh, first two weeks was uh, talking to my Orthodox Jewish friends, um, and the next week was on Mormonism, and the fourth week was on Jehovah Witness and Jehovah Witnesses. Um, what do you say when you when they come to your front door? How do you how do you help these people? Now realize the the reason I'm doing this video or did these videos was not because you can win an argument because that does no good. The reason we, I did it is because to uh, help these people because to love them just like anybody else is to teach them or to engage with them to, to show them who Jesus Christ is. Like for instance, my Jewish friends don't believe in the Messiah yet, even though it's he's mentioned uh, 44 times in the Old Testament. There's a way to do that. Uh, my Mormon friends believe he's the spirit brother of Lucifer, that he's not God, uh, that uh, and there's some other areas that we talk about. Uh, my Jehovah Witness friends do not believe that he is uh, God at all. They believe he's a God, that he's the, actually the, the archangel Michael. And what I do is I go through using their material. Like, for instance, I use only the Old Testament for the for my Jewish friends or what they call the Tanakh. Uh, the for my Mormon friends, I use the the LDS King James Version. I use the Doctrine and Covenants, Pearl of Great Price, Book of Mormon, and for the my Jehovah Witness friends, I use the New World Translation. And you say, can you get the gospel out of these? Are these the gospel? They have been altered so much, and like say the there's three books with the, my Mormon friends that aren't in Scripture, but you can see there's they didn't redact enough uh, to where where you can't you that you can't find Christ in there. Okay, now do I read their material so I can see if it's true or not? No, I read it and study it because so I know how to evangelize them. How do I, I'm used as a tool in the hand of God? That's all we're supposed to do. We're only supposed to plant a seed. What do you mean by that? Well, when you go into like my last one was on Jehovah Witnesses. I go in and show well. I, I can show through their New World Translation that, you know, it says, In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. Okay, it's Jehovah. Then you go into like John 1, 3, where it says all things were created by him. And it didn't say Jehovah. It's, it's talking about Jehovah and Jesus. It refers to Jesus as the creator of all things. I mean, just that's just one detail. There's a whole bunch of details. Um, if you're wanting to study on, on the Jewish friends, that would be uh, the first two, part one and part two. Um the first, the first and second week, the Mormonism was week three, and Jehovah's Witnesses was week four. I was going to do a synopsis, like uh, like saying, okay, if this one comes to your door, here's the number one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, just through time constraints, I am so, uh, I'll be honest, I'm busy. But what you can do is you can go on and to pray5.org. Uh, they're on there. Uh, you can go on to the YouTube channel. Uh, cop for christ no excuse me pray five at cop for christ seven and you'll see it on there or you'll see it on the facebook page uh scott hogue on facebook page and find it that way or you can like i say or you can go to the pray org website and just type in salvation and it'll have a bunch of material in there so these are not an exhaustive study but they dang sure can get you started if you say well i want to study about Joe witnesses and I want more information than you put out there. Okay. That's, uh, that's something that you need to follow. Uh, there's another resource to help go along with this, which I learned a lot from was, uh, watchman that's watchman fellowship. And uh, James Walker is the, is the CEO and the, the creator of that. It's out of Arlington, Texas. And just go into his site and type in uh, Jehovah Witness or Mormon or Catholic or whatever you want to type in, and it'll, it'll bring up the information. And you can go as deep as you want to. Uh, my suggestion is that you pray up. If you have a friend or family member who you're wanting to speak with, it's one of these uh, different religions, is you go in there. And you don't, there's like, for instance, when I go to talk to my Mormon friends, there's so many things to talk about. Uh, I mean, it would take hours. And then you do nothing but play ping, uh, Bible verse ping pong. Is what that's called, um, and so the thing is, what, what I do is, uh, I go in and say, "Who do you say Jesus Christ is?" and stick to that. 
And when you start quoting out of their scriptures, which they can't deny, and then they say, well, hey, what about this? And, they, and they'll, what they'll do is they'll try to take you over to another vein, a different subject, a different topic to get you off topic so they can go ahead and because they're thinking, oh, I just got to win this one or, or they're going to be lost. Don't let them do that. Write it down before you go. Stick with who do you say Jesus is and don't venture off anything else. Don't don't go anywhere else, even though you want to. OK, yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot of. Uh, there's a lot of targets out there you can hit in each one of these religions. It's just you know messed up, but don't do that. Don't fall into that that trap. What you want to do is you'll say, okay, write down one, two, three, four, five, six, and say in your, can you answer this question for me? You know, like for instance, who do you say Jesus is? Well, is he God or is he a God? Like for instance, uh, like in the Jehovah Witnesses, they believe that Jesus was Michael the Archangel who came out of heaven and then changed into Jesus and then went back. And there's problems with that because, you know, Jesus it shows in their scriptures that he's the creator. And I mean, just go to the study that I did on that one on, on week four. And uh, it's free of charge. Don't, don't didn't cost anything. Uh, there's no copyright, so you can use it. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to make a pre, uh, pre-recorded pre one on uh, Islam. Islam. Because... Uh, there was a guy that inspired me uh, here recently. I was thinking, how did I want to attach a, attack this one? Because again, you want to talk to them about Jesus just like you do anybody else, um, so that they don't die and go to hell. And where that's where these people are headed, they don't have the Holy Spirit. So when you're when you have they come up on your front when they come up on your front porch, be nice, be pleasant. Say, hey, I don't have time right now. I'm not. I don't want to talk to you right now. But can I come talk? Can we go talk somewhere this week or whatever? Have a restaurant or a place that you can go where there's food or something. So you can sit down uninterrupted indoors so it doesn't matter what the weather. And that way it gives you a time to pray up and be prepared. And I've never had one tell me no. They're like, oh, yeah, sure. They always want to go talk to you. They think they've got you. If you're, if you're just a Mormon or Joe Witness waiting to pop out. And then you give it to them. And what will happen is they'll either A, uh, they'll as soon as you start backing them into a corner with truth, they leave. Okay, there's nothing you can do about that. Just say, hey, just you want to put it in your mind that you know if you if you're worshiping a god, not the god, it's two separate individuals, and plant the seed and let the Holy Spirit do the rest of it, and start praying for them from now for you know as long as you can do it. Um, or B, they they say, well, and you start pinning their ears back with it with scripture. They can't say, well, that's not. That's not our, our scriptures. And you say, yeah, it is. Actually, here's the, the Book of Mormon or whatever. And they say, well, I said, it's in your own writings. Who am I supposed to believe, you or, or your own Bible? Well, they can't argue with that, but they'll try. Be prepared. Educate yourself. And pray it before you go. Um, and realize if there's some of them that just say, you know what? What happens with most of the ones, that, or the majority of the ones I see that I, t- I speak with, even if I get to them and I can see they're they're folding, and they leave, I know that's and they they get back with their their holy huddle, they go back to their Joe Witness temp, uh, the church or uh, hall, or they go to their their Mormon temple or whatever or their mosque, and they get they get reindoctrinated and they're they're gone. That's when the, that's what I've noticed. So, hey, if you do use this material and this is helping you, please let us know. Just say, hey, thanks a lot. This got me going in the right direction. Thanks for the resources. Uh, It has nothing to do with us. It has to do with God telling us what to do. Uh, So again, when you're watching these videos, have a pen and paper and start marking, write them in information down, stop, you know, cut, paste, whatever. And then you can order, uh, like for instance, uh, I I said it on this video, like the Mormons have three, Three of their own books. They have, like, they have a uh, the, one of their Bibles is called the, is the LDS KJV Bible, which you know you want that, but you also can get one that's you know one, all in one Book of Mormon Doctrine and Covenants and Pearl of Great Price eBay. Uh, you can get the New World Translation. You can contact uh, contact them. They'll send you a free Bible. But the only thing is, it comes with a string of them showing up at your front door. Um, but you can go to eBay and get that for free. Um, and on the Quran, you can order off of eBay, just a paperback book for about 10 bucks and, uh, you go through there now a little different on the, if you do get the, the Quran, 
got to warn you, if you're speaking to a Mormon friend or Mormon uh, a Muslim friend, be careful how you position this their book if you're going to carry it in. Never carry it below your waist. Uh, don't be marking in it. Use I use tabs or I use a you, know, you can get a a piece of paper or whatever mark page such and such verse and chap, chapter and verse uh, and write it down on something like this. That way you don't offend them. Because if you offend them, then it doesn't do any good. Then they're then they're gone. And that's not what you want. Even though you don't re, you don't revere their scripture as being the word of God, you're not you're doing it so that you don't offend them, but so you can tell them the truth. Understand? Okay. Again, go to pray5.org uh, and go to contact us if you need some more help uh, or information. You can go to the Facebook page, uh, our, our Facebook page. Uh, you can do that. Go to our Facebook page. Sorry about that. Uh, you can go to our YouTube channel. Uh, like I said, it's, it's Pray5 at cop for christ 7 Christ is capitalized. You can contact us that way or like I say, again, our email address is on the pray5.org website. Okay. Thank you for listening, and let me know what happens, okay? If we could help you anymore, please contact us.